I'm about to walk through how I edited an entire podcast inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jake Hill. I help creatives make the best videos possible for their church. And this video is actually a small snippet from my entire course on church videography that you can check out down in the description below. Hope you enjoy. So this is the podcast, just really diffuse light from above everybody in here. So they all have mics actually exactly like this, the Shure SM7B, uh, not very cheap, but sounds incredible. Here we are, we have our camera audio, which is just good as a reference. I'm not hungry and y'all are making fun of me right now, but I just knew Jesus did it. It's probably something I should do. So sounds terrible, obviously. It's literally audio like from the camera. So not what we want, we keep that muted. So this is very separated out into tracks. We have our camera, three main mics. So these are what we're gonna be editing as well as we have like a quick intro here from our hosts. So that's a separate audio track because that's gonna be mixed like separately. We have our outro actual like voiceover where our kids pastor kind of gave like a kids worksheet out, which is really cool, as well as music for the outro. So everything is very separated on different tracks. Find a part where he's talking for a good bit of it. And all these toxins out of your body and you just feel horrible. You know, the headaches mm -hmm. and you're grouchy and you know, Turned out sounding really, really good. I spent a lot of time dialing this audio in. So we jump into our dynamics. You can see I have a gate as well as a uh, compressor applied here. And the gate is doing a little bit. This was actually really because you could hear the other people talking through his mic. So instead of manually keyframing these times where he's quiet and other people are talking, let's see if I solo his. So I'm just listening to his mic. You can see we're pretty much getting nothing, which is exactly what we want because we don't want to be mixing somebody else's audio coming in from the, uh, another person's mic. But if we disable this dynamics, let's see if we can hear it at all now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we can just a little bit when he gets a little bit louder and then with the gate on. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I think it is just a little bit lower. Now I probably could have gone a little harder with the gate, but I didn't want it to sound overly processed. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I did just want to isolate their individual voices a little bit more. And then EQ, similar method that we used earlier for the testimony, but I'll just kind of show you some before and after of how it sounds. ...to see what it unlocks in people's journey with the Lord. And we get to experience that every year, either through testimonies, yeah or, you know, in prayer setting. So EQ is doing a ton here. These mics, I will say, even when I do videos like this, there's a lot of EQ on the videos that I do with these mics. They do take a good bit of dialing in, but they can sound really good once you get them locked in. So you can hear a pretty big difference before and after here. And then we'll just take a look at the compressor and see how much it's actually working here when he gets a little bit louder. As you can just see, and you can feel it corporately like Man, just the the presence of God, people really being more dialed in yeah. and focused on the things of God. So you can see this first one here is the gate actually working. And then the next one is the compressor, especially when they're all getting loud over here and laughing and stuff. That's really where we want this compressor to work. Because again, remember all three of this audio right here is competing together. So when you put all those together, the overall level is going to be that much louder. So Let's kind of hear how this sounds over here and also watch these levels here to see how loud they all are at the same time. Man, I'm a bad Christian. I yes. should be fasting <laughs> as well. Yeah. So, or you're like, yeah, me, me too, actually. I was testing you yeah. just to see. Yeah. Okay, That's so right. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, as of right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting. Yeah. I feel the Lord yeah. calling you. Right? <laughs> so I think that's, to me, overall, I, I'm really happy with how these levels came out. Um, just learning more about audio has been pretty fun. So... You can see right here, as we listen to that, none of these got to peaking and none of them resulted in this, our final uh, bus peaking, which is exactly what we want. There's just a few times here where they actually got a little too loud. So I just used three keyframes. You can hold option and click right here three times. Bring something down if you don't want to hear it as much. So I did do that manually a little bit, which I try to avoid. That's really why we use these tools is so you don't have to manually keyframe out what you don't want. You can use things that will automate. Even if it's three hours, it'll work exactly the same. So 
that's really why we do this is just to save that much time here i actually did have buses set up so bus one again is our master pod has their three mics in there so it's actually all going through here and then i actually have a limiter effect on here which is set to negative three so this is actually working similar to a compressor it's nothing can go above negative three but it's raising everything up by five so it's applying a little more of compression if you would say that but it is limiting it by setting a ceiling and then raising everything up so it uh, some of it's going to hit that ceiling but it's going to keep it at a consistent level if you're interested in more videos like this and you're a church videographer you should check out the link down in the description but that's all i got for you today thanks for watching